Are you curious about how the cost of living in different cities can affect your budget and lifestyle? If so, you've come to the right place. In this video, we'll be comparing the cost of living in some of the most vibrant and bustling cities, Dublin, Zurich, Sydney and London. Join us as we explore the differences in everything from housing and transportation to food and entertainment, and discover which city comes out on top in terms of affordability. Don't miss out on this insightful comparison. Hit that play button and let's get started. In this video, we explore options for young people seeking to move abroad to reduce their cost of living. While countries like Australia, Canada, and England may seem like attractive options, Switzerland also has a lot of vacancy, making it an excellent option to consider. Although the cost of living is higher in Switzerland, the high salaries make it easier to pay high rent prices. If you're looking for an alternative to the more traditional options, Switzerland may be worth exploring. The cost of renting in Ireland is skyrocketing forcing almost 60% of 18- to 29-year-olds to consider emigrating to reduce their cost of living. The high rent prices have made it difficult for young people to save for a house, and many are considering options abroad. According to one girl, renting a one-bed apartment in Dublin costs around €2,100 per month, whereas in Sydney, one can rent a two-bedroom apartment in a good area for the same price. Similarly, another young person stated that they would consider London as a better place to live compared to Dublin mainly because of higher wages and better job opportunities. Despite being one of the most expensive cities in the world, London's better public transport and lower rent in certain areas make it a more attractive option. Rent prices have been on the rise in Ireland, with the country experiencing a massive increase in rents from 2020 to 2022. Comparing rent prices with other countries, Ireland's rent prices are among the highest. The increase in population and immigration has caused rents to skyrocket, making it challenging for young people to find affordable housing. When comparing the cost of living between Dublin and Zurich, it is clear that both cities are among the most expensive in the world. However, there are some notable differences between the two. While the cost of rent is comparable in both cities, with Dublin experiencing a surge in rent prices in recent years, Zurich's net salary after tax is almost double that of Dublin. This means that residents of Zurich may find it easier to manage the high cost of living, despite the high prices. Additionally, Switzerland's position outside of the EU means that there are higher costs associated with importing goods, which may contribute to the higher overall cost of living. Overall, while both cities are costly, Zurich's higher net salary and stability in the Swiss economy may make it a more attractive option for those considering a move to a more expensive city. Dublin is known for its high rental prices, which have been increasing in recent years. According to the Residential Tenancies Board, the standardized average rent in new tenancies for apartments in Q1 2022 was highest at €1,975 per month in Dublin. The average monthly asking price for a new rental in Dublin is now €21,702. Rent caps were introduced in Dublin in 2016 to address the rising rental prices. The government began capping rent increases for sitting tenants in mainly urban areas at 4% per year from 2016 and reduced the threshold to 2% a year ago. However, according to the Residential Tenancies Board, average rents in the city grew 2.4% from the start of July 2020 to the end of June 2021, despite the cap. The number of high-end apartments being built is pushing up rents, and the average cost of rent in Dublin is now more than €2,000 per month. The research from DAF.i showed that average rents for sitting tenants have increased 3.4% each year over the last decade, compared to 7.1% per year for market tenants. While rent caps may have helped to slow down the rate of increase in rental prices, they have not been effective in reducing the overall cost of renting in Dublin. However, compared to other major cities, the cost of living in Dublin is relatively lower. According to Numbio, rent in Dublin is, on average, 37.7% lower than in New York. Despite the high rental prices, Dublin remains a popular destination for expats and professionals due to its vibrant culture, job opportunities, and quality of life. The shortage of rental accommodation in Dublin has led to higher market rents, and this can only be addressed by increased supply. While there are almost 115,000 proposed rental homes in the pipeline, most of them are concentrated in the Dublin area. According to statistics agency Eurostat, house price growth is outpacing increases in rents in the European Union. This trend is not new, as a report by the European Commission in 2021 showed that 70% of the population in the EU own their homes, while 30% rent it. However, rising house prices and rents are becoming a concern for many Europeans, as incomes are not keeping up with the pace of inflation. The International Monetary Fund has warned that the increases in house prices relative to incomes make housing unaffordable to many segments of the population. Spain, for example, has one of the lowest rentership rates among European countries, with just 23% of households renting their homes. 
The pandemic has also affected the rental market, with an increase in the supply of rental homes due to the transfer of tourists and short-term rental properties to the long-term rental market Five. Overall, the trend of rising house prices and rents in Europe is a complex issue that requires attention from policymakers to ensure that housing remains affordable for all. According to the European Commission, house prices and rents have increased in many European countries over the last decade. The largest increases in house prices were registered in Estonia, Lithuania, and Ireland, with Estonia experiencing the highest increase of 154%. In Ireland, house prices increased by 68% over the last decade while rents increased by 82%. In contrast, Greece and Cyprus experienced decreases in house prices. The increase in house prices relative to incomes makes housing unaffordable to many segments of the population. However, according to the World Economic Forum, rents increased by only 16% during the period 2010 to 2021, while house prices gained 34%. The increase in house prices has also had an impact on headline inflation in some countries and could contribute to more persistent inflationary pressures. While house prices and rents are rising across Europe, incomes are also increasing in many countries. Protests have been taking place in Ireland in response to the high rental prices and the lack of affordable housing. In 2022 and 2023, thousands of people marched in Dublin, demanding a new policy that ensures dignified housing for all by providing homes at affordable prices and rents. The rental crisis in Ireland has been ongoing for several years, with Dublin becoming one of the world's most expensive places to rent. In conclusion, it's becoming increasingly challenging to afford rent in Ireland, and many young people are considering moving abroad to reduce their cost of living. In 2023, the Irish government introduced a rent tax credit of €500 Euros per year for renters, which is expected to benefit over 400,000 people. The tax credit is available to all renters who rented private accommodation in 2022 or are currently renting in 2023. The credit can be claimed at any time during the year via the Manage Your Tax 2023 option and Revenues My Account facility. The tax credit was introduced as part of Budget 2023, and each tax-paying tenant in a particular property is eligible for the credit. The Green Party proposed a €1,000 tax relief for renters in 2023, which means that renters who apply for the credit at the end of the year will get €1,000 off their taxes in total for 2023. The rent tax credit is aimed at providing some relief to renters who are struggling with the high cost of living in Ireland. The situation is unlikely to change anytime soon, making it essential to look for affordable alternatives. While popular countries like Australia, Canada, and England may seem like good options, Switzerland has a lot of vacancy making it an excellent option to consider. If you enjoyed this video and would like to receive more informative and helpful responses, consider subscribing to our channel. You will get notified of our latest updates and can learn something new every day. Click the subscribe button now and join our community.